Hello and welcome back to Ramble Craft episode 2, where in this episode I have a lot planned. Multiple projects that hopefully we will get done by the end of this episode. First off, you may be wondering what on earth is going on over there, and that is because I've been growing spruce trees, the giant ones, because, well, we need spruce wood for the project. A project that we're gonna do today. Anyways, um, I have been doing some stuff off camera, uh, mining getting wood um, and stuff like that, um, cooking fish, plenty, plenty of fish, because now I can spoil it, uh, we are going to make a fish shop, basically. I like AFK fishing, and people need food, and I'm able to supply food, and hopefully it's gonna sell. Hopefully. We're gonna make a fish shop, anyway. Um, though I need to say that this AFK fishing thing AFK fishing was nerfed in 1.16, okay? And I actually, I think I only learned it after I had recorded uh, the first episode, so oof. Um, so it's, uh, I don't get any treasure whatsoever, but I do get normal fish, which is pretty cool. Though I also get all the junk, but I'm not able to get any treasure. You see, I have a plan for my shop, and you'll see when we actually make it. But first, I feel like we should head over to the shopping district and take a look, because I know quite a few people have actually already opened some shops. Um, now, I do not have many diamonds to spend. Let me actually show you my resources here. I don't have that many diamonds to spend. I have a block of diamond that is reserved for a place we can put our shop. So technically, we only have nine diamonds. I'm willing to bring five with me. I'm willing to bring five with me, and that's about it. And we'll we'll just see what what's gonna happen. Maybe we'll, I don't know if anyone is selling anything for iron, but I guess we'll bring a few iron blocks, just in case. I don't know what to expect, so we're gonna take a look. And if you ask why I have so much lapis, I struck a deal with Atlantis. Five blocks of iron and twenty fish, I believe it was, for five blocks of lapis lazuli, and I agreed to that deal. Now speaking of AFK fishing, I am planning on making a brand new one that is going to work with treasure and everything. I love the Minecraft community when it comes to finding new ways of doing old stuff that has been quote unquote fixed. But I'm actually going to do that in a stream that I will do later today. Today is Monday. Um, I will do that later today on Twitch, so be sure to go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitch. The stream will already have been done by the time you see this recording, but not to fear, there will be plenty more in the future. Um, but I'm planning on putting it right here, as you will see later on. And we will then also put a building on top of it. The, the first building that we will be making on this island. And I really want to look for a... Well, I really want to make like a science fiction or futuristic design. Very clean and futuristic looking. So right here, these barrels right here, I have some resources. Um, not counting the glass, we need sand in here. Um, but as you can see, I have a bunch of gravel and I need a bunch of sand as well to make concrete, because I need concrete. Um, and this down here is materials for our shop. But let's not waste any more time, let's head on over to the shopping district. I forgot I actually wanted to get a portal up and going. I wanted to build another portal right here and I actually wanted to bring my diamond pickaxe, get some more obsidian on the way and I wanted to, if no one else has done it, put a portal up um, on the shopping district so people that are in the nether are able to travel uh, using the portal. I think that would be very nice. I don't plan on traveling through the nether right now because coordinates and whatnot. Yeah, I guess we'll take a peek and th through and see what's going on. And we are in a cave. All right, not much to see here. Wait, we have, we have, I actually like this. That's like this. Are we under lava, I wonder? I don't know why 35. Isn't that under lava? I don't know. Let's just go back safely to the overworld. I found it. Eh. <laughs> that was a pain. I think I, I went, I think I went in the wrong direction. I found it now, but... Oh dear. All right, so there has definitely been going on some design here. Basically, um, we do it by chunk. So if you don't know, a chunk is a 16 by 16 area. Um, so for example, this over here is in one chunk, then this over here is in another chunk. And then for every, I think, four chunks, we will have a road intersection. So that's cool. That's to keep things nice and neat. All right, so what do we have here? That's an empty sign. One diamond per stack. One diamond per stack. Ooh. Oh. Sea lanterns. 
would be very nice. That's definitely something to keep in mind. I don't know who this is, unfortunately. Huddling House. Nice. Hello, fellow rambler. Enjoy the simple pleasures of storage and delight. Thanks for shopping. Come again. 23 diamonds per elytra. Mmm. I, I, I need more diamonds. Ooh, shulker boxes. A lot of shulker boxes. Four diamonds. Ooh, hold up. Two diamonds for this stuff. Ooh, that's tempting. One diamond for two stacks. One diamond miscellaneous. Ooh. Hmm. All right. That that's that that's definitely tempting. I want to see what else we have first. Oh wow, there's a lot here. Okay. I believe this is the shop here and they've made. What do we have here? Bundle. Elytra mending stack of rocket. Price 32 diamonds. For this? Oh, for this. Oh. That's not a bad price to be honest. 10 diamonds for mending book. Whoa. Nice. That's not bad. Then what is this? This, I, I, I gotta say. This looks very cool. <laughs> uh, logs, one diamond per 64 logs. Ooh. Hmm. Blocks, one diamond per two stacks. Oh. Wait, one diamond per two stacks. Oh, that's a good price for gravel right there. We'll see if I need more. If I need more, then this is probably where I'm gonna come. Cause, uh, <laughs> I need concrete. Now this diamond chest plate. I don't think I can pass up that offer. What was it? Two diamonds? That's, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And once, uh, one diamond miscellaneous. And I think I'll take this too, because nevertheless, that is very, very cheap. Goodbye, iron sword, and goodbye, iron chest plate. <laughs> nice, we are getting an upgrade, and it's the sun is going down. We will be back later to claim a plot for our land. Um, now, I don't know where on earth I should put this portal, because I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with like the roads and whatnot. Like so, and boom, we have a community nether portal. <laughs> And just gonna put some magma block up there, cause why not? Sure, that works. Not the prettiest thing, but it definitely works. Now what happens when we go through here? Are we gonna go in a good spot or in a bad spot? Uh, good slash bad. I, I don't know how to get home from here. Uh, you know what? Maybe the ocean is better for right now. I don't have the coordinates to get home. Uh, yeah, it seems better. And we are now one stream and more AFK work later. So, we gather sand in the stream, and we also built the AFK fish farm, well, part of it anyway, and I've been doing some off work, off camera work. Basically, this is the machine right here. It is a machine, blah, blah, I'll link to the video down below in the description. Um, it is a video uh, made by Race Work, and this is basically going to allow us to get the treasure that you would be able to get in the old FFK fishing farms that but that Mojang nerfed but we are still able to uh, AFK fish with this method right here. All right, so I did a stupid and I need to explain it. Basically, the AFK fish farm that we currently have built will not give you treasure that you would usually get from the old AFK fishing farm. I misunderstood the videos and the dates and which one was before the other and it was basically outdated and race work even put in the description that it doesn't work anymore and that there's another one. So I'm gonna make this other one off camera and I'm gonna use that and I'll show you how it looks next episode. I just want to make that clear that if you make this design, it does not work to get treasure. It works how it works to get normal fish, but it does not work to get treasure. Just putting that out there. But it's fine. I can reuse the redstone and stuff. It shouldn't be too hard of a transformation. Anyways, let's now continue. I also made a path in the nether to get back and forth to the shopping district. And that actually came in handy because Dev actually came and bought 10 slime balls off of me and he paid two diamonds for them. So that's really good. So now we have this amount of diamonds. We're, we're, we're not rich by any means, but we're getting there. All right, sorry for breaking in. I did cover the redstone of this machine uh, in the original recording, but I wasn't happy with it. So here we go. We're in my testing world here. Uh, once again, this does not work to get uh, treasured items when you fish as I already mentioned. But if you still wanna make this, 
here we go. There's a tripwire hook right here, and you're supposed to stand on this block right here, and what would happen is that would pick up the bobber right there. The bobber would sit there, and when you actually get a catch, what would then happen is your bobber would get caught in the boat and basically storing the item that you would get. Um, so even after a long period of time, after a fish had caught on, you could still reel it in and get that fish. Now redstone wise, what this does, that this tripwire hook powers this part of the redstone and this part of the redstone. This right here is a clock basically going all the way out here. And as long as the clock runs, this piston is extended, which has a um, observer under it like so. And this basically makes it so when this observer gets retracted again, aka when the timer runs out, this redstone signal gets pushed. Now, also, while this clock is being turned on, there's this tripwire hook powering this piston, pushing this observer out of the way. Because if I just remove this lever here, the trapdoor is constantly going to do that, allowing you to reel in and recast your fishing rod. This basically detects when you, when you cast your fishing rod, pushing this observer out of the way, like so. So it allows you the time that has been set here, and only when the time is out, this redstone will be powered, pushing the observer back, allowing this to rerun, just like you saw there. This comparator is being powered by a single item in this furnace. This goes around in a clockwise like that. And that is pretty much it for more in-depth. Be quiet. For more in-depth, check out the video down below in the description. Let's now continue. So now what we have to do is make this glitched water source here. What we will need is we need to set a bunch of pistons up in a very specific way. Um, so this, if you want to see how this works, I will link to another video down below in the description um, by DocM77 um, showcasing this. And I did test this in a greater world and this still works. And I should have everything we need in order to do this. This stone block is basically representing the water that we would have there. And, oh, whoops, no, not like that, come back. Do that, and then we need one over here. Okay, we'll need to place the boat afterwards, that's fine. Okay, now I need to, okay, that's that, fine. The Minecraft has a, has, has a mind of its own. So that should be that. And these have to be sticky pistons, by the way. Then what we need to do is make slime go like this. We need that here. Then we need a furnace here and a furnace here, like so. And we need a immovable object right here. So a furnace or obsidian, anything like that, that cannot be moved by a piston. And then this like that. That should be it. Everything should work. So I'm going to break that and then place my water bucket in here. And so I should be able to break these rest of blocks like so. And as you can see, the water isn't going anywhere. So I can remove all this stuff right here. And as you can see, we now have a magical floating water block, right? Click it and then go under it right here and then reel it in like so. Perfect. I guess we are ready for a test run. I don't think there's anything else. So let's turn this on. We're gonna give it a shot. This is first time me testing this. So let's see, I just need to hold right click and that powers the clock. And eventually that clock is going to run out now, this fishing rod does not have lure, so that might have an effect. Now, I have lure too on this fishing rod, so maybe that is enough, just so we can see and demonstrate that this actually works. There we go, timer is set. I have lure too on this fishing rod. Hopefully, this is good enough. And we actually got a, got a fish there. All right. And I think actually this needs to be extended. Yeah, that needs to be extended right there. But we got a fish right there. So that is really cool. Now, here's what I don't want. I don't want this in a hole. It's ugly. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. I need it hidden. So that is why I had so much gravel 
and that's why we also collected a bunch of sand on stream so that I can make a bunch of concrete because we are gonna be making right here and right now we are gonna be making our very first um, we're going to be making our very first build of this island now I should be able to make concrete yes concrete but I need to die first boop 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 bonk perfect now what I gotta do I gotta take this shovel by the way which I made on Breaking 3 efficiency 4 at silk touch amazing and I need to go to the water here and I need to sit whoops yeah actually I need to I need to pick X I forgot basically need to keep doing this that'll be fun Why did I decide to use concrete? Why? This takes forever. Okay, maybe it only took like 10 minutes, but still that took forever. Anyways, we now have a batch of white concrete and gray concrete and cyan concrete and I actually need some shroom lights, but I'll get those off camera and just install them because yeah, I need to get building with this thing and I don't want to wait anymore. I'm going to get started. It's going to be a time lapse. Enjoy. Um, yeah. Let's begin. All right, it's finished, sort of anyway. I would say 95% done. Okay, maybe 90% done, but the rest is mainly on the interior. So here it is. Uh, do I have any blocks to go up with? I guess I'll use the concrete. This is how it looks from above. And I think I really like this. It's kind of like this design that I want to go with. It's kind of like, I guess, simple, futuristic-ish design. I don't know what to call it, but I like it. Yeah, the torches are not supposed to be there. They're just for temporary lighting. My idea is to put shroom lights under there from the nether, but I need some first and I don't have one or some right now. So torches will do just fine just to light it up um, in the night. And yeah, that's pretty much it right there. If you have any suggestions on how I could improve it, let me know down below in the comments um, as I am not a great builder, but I think I'm happy with this, for now anyway. Moving inside here, as you can see, I'm still missing the dirt here. Here we have a little standing platform, and as we go down here, we have the actual farm right here. And that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I need I need some, I need some uh, light down there, but the issue is I was not able to put torches because then it interrupts the water, and I think in a way, and we wouldn't need, be able to get the treasure anymore. So I need to basically put some shroom light or glowstone down there ASAP because that is not supposed to happen. And he has actually messed up the hopper in minecart system. So I need to redo that, of course. But my idea for this in the future is actually to have the items of this chest go down a hopper and then move over and up into a small storage system here. But my main idea um, is to have the items here shipped out through a pipe maybe through the side here i think into our main tower that we will have at the center of our base uh, of the island if it is going to be a tower maybe i'll change it i don't know but that is kind of the plan for right now but until then there is going to be plenty of storage space right here um when i actually need it and i can dig this down as well to get even more storage right next door so that is pretty cool and i like it so far i think 
But now we are not done. So we need to head over to the shopping district. We need to choose a plot. We need to pay for it. And then we need to build up my shop because we have a bunch of cooked. Where is it? A bunch of cooked fish here and I want to try and sell it. Of course, if it turns out that we won't get any profit from it, then we can always change the shop to something else. But I want to try and sell this because people always need food, right? So this is, fish is a pretty good and sustainable food source. As you can see, we actually have a data pack that normally you would only get one brick block per four bricks. But we have a data pack that lets us get four times as much because otherwise we would be running out of clay very fast and it is a very grindy resource to uh, <laughs> to collect. So I'm very happy that we have that. That's oh dear. That's a lot of break. I almost forgot the most important part. We need a diamond block with us because that is how we're going to pay for a spot in the shopping district. Block a diamond right there. Let's go. All right. We are in the nether and as you can see right here is the tunnel that I dug. Um, from the shopping district all the way over to my portal. It is definitely not a safe trip yet because as you can see it is very open but it is good enough for now. It is going to make it a lot easier. Before I had to travel like what 2000 blocks, 1800 blocks or something. Now I just have to travel 200 blocks and not miss my mark which is right over here so where I actually mined the wrong way so it would be even shorter but I, I did a dumb and the staircase went in the opposite direction so right over here as you can see just gonna mark it like that we have to go this way now it is so stupid I need to redo it I don't know what I was doing but obviously this is not right and here we are now before we continue I actually feel really bad because I missed the shop when we uh, visited here earlier in this episode. So I want to check this out really quick. Uh, what do we got here? I like the design. I'm actually going to use a design kind of similar. Just as bakery. Let's head inside here. We only charge iron. Ooh. Five iron each, two iron for five. Ooh. Well, I can always use some cookies. So I might come back for some cookies because after this episode, we need to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, if I remember, we will have to do that. And I do believe that we got more stuff in this shop. I think. I'm pretty sure. Mending 15 diamonds for two books. Whoa. Wait. 15 diamonds per two books. Oh, I'm bringing three, five diamonds per one book. Oh, wow. I need to get more diamonds going here. <laughs> we need we need to do some more mining streams. Now I need to decide a plot of which I want to put my shop. And this is going to be, as far as I can tell, a road intersection right here. But I don't know if I want it right here. That's the thing. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this plot right here. This corner piece, I think it's going to be nice. Plus, it's close to the other shops and it's close to the portal. Well, where the portal is right now, anyway. So, yeah, I need to head on over here. Hmm, no ladder. Well, I'm going to add mine to the pile right there. A diamond block. I'm going to go down and I'm claiming my spot. Well, it's already claimed, but here we are. Uh, I'm going to put down a crafty table. And I'm going to make a double chest just for my building supplies. And I'm going to get building. I need to, first of all, terraform this place so it looks a little bit better. And then we're going to begin the time lapse. So let's begin.
All right, the shop is once again about 90% complete. And we're gonna finish it, uh, well, right now actually. I need to bring all this fish with me. Um, yeah. Okay, so all these cooked salmon stacks and all of this cut as well, all of that is going to be sellable. Uh, I guess I'm also going to need, eh, I have uh, birch wood back there and I'm also going to sell puffer fish in the shop as well. Just because people might want them for water breathing potions and such. We'll see how it goes. Also, the reason for me taking Simon Diamonds with me is because I realized that Hudlin did have more armor in his shop. And even though it didn't have the enchantments I wanted, it is still extremely cheap for me to buy it. Because if he has, for example, diamond leggings, and I need diamond leggings, I would need to spend, well, seven diamonds to make some. But here I might be able to get it for just a couple diamonds, so I would be stupid not to buy one of each. And here it is. It is quite big, but I am planning on expanding it in the future with a lot more items also related to fishing. But we'll see when we actually get to that point. For right now this is how it looks. So this is a little display area. Um, and I'm gonna put some, well mainly these, well actually I guess... I'm not gonna really put raw stuff on there. Um, I guess they will have to be placeholders for now, but yeah, that's, that's a bit annoying. I didn't think about that. Um, I guess I'll do something like that to make it look pretty. Then I'm gonna put a probably an iron door here, just so, I, so it's like uh, only personnel can get through this stuff. Um, anyways, this is where we will be selling this stuff. So I'm going to put in the placeholders right there. And these will actually be renamed right here, like so. So I will name them so they actually say uh, the price for them. Now, the shroom lights, I wanted to put them in the floor like this. And then we need to put one over here. But I don't know if I should put maybe some trap doors above them. It's definitely light here and you don't really notice the lights here. The only thing here is they open together with the door, which is kind of annoying. Like that. I guess that can work for now. At least they're not here like, being annoying. We can remove that torch now. We should have very nice lighting. I am going to just put some torches up here in the ceiling. They're not going to be very noticeable. Um, guess we don't have so much yeah, darkness up there at night time. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. And we have plenty of space for expansion uh, when we want to expand also on this wall and of course on this wall as well. Now, of course, I brought the flower pots here like so and these blue orchards. I like how that looks. Now, what I did actually want to do, I want to make um, a bunch of barrels basically. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it like that and I have these over here as well. Maybe just add just eh, one like so, just to fill out the space a little bit. I guess I'll remove this just so there's a little bit more clearing here to the road. And yeah, and I actually think I am going to use these as actual storage. So that is pretty cool. Just gonna, oh dear, I need another chest. What we're gonna then do is we're gonna take all these fish. Now I can actually get the space I need. I'm gonna put the iron in here and get the cooked card. So, basically the card I'm going to sell a stack, I think a stack per diamond. All right, that is hopefully the last cut we have to do today. Well, major cut anyway, where I have to go back all the way to my base. Anyways, here we are. Um, so I have named all of these. So when you look at them, they will say one diamond will give you 16 puffer fish. And one diamond will give you 32 cooked card. I spelled that wrong. All right, people get the idea, I think. <laughs> it's salmon, but yeah, they, they get the idea. I don't have an anvil here. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do that off camera. Anyways, I've set the price to one diamond for 64 cooked card. I think that's an okay price. I don't think there's really anyone else selling food. So, except for Chester, of course, up there on, on the hill. Um, 
But yeah, I think that is a pretty good price considering it is already cooked and everything. And the reason why I made it to 32 cooked card, uh, salmon, <laughs> is because salmon does actually fill your hunger bar up more than the card does. So that that's why it's a little bit more expensive. So that's that, and for one diamond for 16 power fish, you don't really want power fish unless you're making potions. And we're gonna see in the next episode how many sales we've made. Now, I wanted to go back here, get all these raw ones out, well, except for the puffer fish, of course, obviously. And I wanted to put the cooked varieties in, so it's actually the right thing we're putting in there. All right, that is our store done for now. A little bit annoyed that the number there glitches through. All right, they have been turned around now. Now, this one is, of course, clipping through because it basically says the same thing. As soon as I change it to Salmon, it's gonna clip in more. Yeah, it doesn't matter, okay? It does not matter whatsoever. But well, here we are. This shop is done for now. And I think I like how it looks. Now I just gotta empty this and bring it all back with me to home base. Oh dear, that is a lot of, huh. But I did want to, is this a community chest? I don't know if it is. You know what? Have some mushroom. <laughs> um, Hutlin House here. Two diamonds. Yes. So we have diamond boots and we have diamond leggings. Uh, so two diamonds for each. One diamond for two stacks. One diamond miscellaneous. Okay. Uh, two diamonds, eh? I'm sold. Two diamonds. Right? Two diamonds. Two diamonds. I just saved, what, I wouldn't originally have to use seven diamonds for that, four diamonds for that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh wait, that's one diamond per box? Wait, are you, are you serious right now? Yo, I'm sold. Give me. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> it's what? Wait, what? Oh right, I had, wait, what? Eh? Okay, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't know where I got that, but if I did, yeah, it's chocolate box. I've not been to the end yet, but uh, yeah, it's chocolate box. You know what? Give me a second one. I'll probably need it. We did some good purchases. Now I'm not completely done. We're at the bakery. I would like some cookies, please. Half a dozen. Uh, wait. Ah, okay. Five, five iron for a dozen, eh? Sold. I got some cookies, because we need to celebrate, okay? We need to celebrate this day. It's so good to have a shulker box now. You have no idea how good it is to have a shulker box. It's so good. I'm going to replace these uh, pressure plates right here with the spruce ones, just because they're gonna blend in a lot better and look a lot nicer. Of course, we have to give this shop a name. And here it is, Binary Vigilantes Fisho Goodies. I don't know if that's right, but it is now. <laughs> Final touch is this barrel right here. Boom. And we're gonna celebrate with a cookie straight from the bakery. So delicious. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Ramblecraft. I really hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. I think in the next one, we need to, um, we need to start some pranking. I don't think it has taken place yet and, uh, yeah, I cannot resist that anymore, can I? I'll uh, brew something up. Also, um, by the time we get to the next episode, I will have used the AFK's fish farm, and hopefully we will be able to expand the shop here, and hopefully we will have had some sales. But that's gonna be it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye. <laughs> Contalana, where you